It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a beer from Sardinia in Italy. It's a bottle of Ischnusa non-filtered, coming in at 5% ABV. 330 centilitre bottle. Here's a look at the bottle cap. Really looking forward to this one, to be honest. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. I've drunk so many bottles of the normal version of this beer, the, it's a filtered lager. But I was round, unbelievably, the world we're in these days with beer. I was round my local shop and they've decided to get into the the I'm not going to call it craft beer, it's made by Heineken. But I can certainly call it a continental lager, um, which is really cool to be able to get something a little bit different now. They had a few IPAs around there. And you think, you know, these type of shops, they, when I was growing up, you, you'd be lucky to get a Mars bar or something around there. And then all of a sudden now, 2021, you're buying unfiltered Sardinian lagers. Uh, one finger whitehead. A hazy looking beer, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Like golden amber lager. Fair play, this has got a cracking aroma on it. I really like East Nusa, really like the beer, always have done. Um, we've got family in Italy. And whenever I go there, it's like a the, the better quality lager. It's either that or the beer of Moretti. I, I like to have a beer, one or two of as well. But this is really hoppy, really lovely and hoppy. Lots of stinging nettle aromas coming through. Spicy, peppery. And I like crisp malt, a little bit of a sweet kind of crisp maltness coming through as well. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Let's step back and enjoy this one. Cheers. Yes, yeah, nice. Full of flavour, absolutely full of flavour. They've they've really hopped this beer. It's really hoppy. It's I've had a little look because a lot of it is in Italian. I don't normally look at the back um, at beer websites for, for for beers, but I have done in this instance, and they've called it a a lager stroke Keller beer. But I'd go as far as saying, for me, this is this is more of an unfiltered pilsner. Really hoppy. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Stinging nettle, spiciness, pepperiness, a little bit of sweetness from the malt, so a good balance to the beer. You've got the sweetness of the malt over here, bitterness over here it's quite a nice balance to the beer that's ah, lovely really lovely on a windy cold end of february day it's perfect in the bar that's ah, lovely so is there anything on the back of the bottle that I can maybe translate? I don't think so. Um, they're based in Sardinia, as I mentioned, uh, southern Italy. I think Sardinia is the football, isn't it? There you've got the big boot of Italy and then the, the little football's Sardinia, I believe. And they sponsor Caglari Football Club. Yeah, really cool. 5% ABV.
Looks like they've got, um, I wasn't going to mention it, but I will mention it. Um, probably the world we live in these days, I suppose, isn't it? Looks like <coughs> kind of a an African pirate on the label. Got like big hoop earrings and a bandana on. Probably a nod to the to the industry back in the day, not the pirate industry. <laughs> That's still going on today, and it would knock off DVDs, and well, not so much DVDs anymore. As I'm sure it's uh, streaming stuff online and whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> right. Um, that's lovely. It really is nice. Crisp and clear. Rock the beer back and forth. See the carbonation. Chasing the head of the glass. Yeah, I mean five percent ABV. This is this is this is a lot better than the original each noosa. This non-filtered version is 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 a very good version of this beer. It's just much more hoppy. It's like Heineken have given each noosa the the license to to roam with this beer, the the license to be a bit adventurous. That's the word, adventurous with this beer, and and brew something different. I wonder how it's. I wonder if it's a response to the Italian craft beer market because there's a big Italian craft beer market out there now. There's a lot of breweries brewing like superb, interesting different beers like red wine barrel aged imperial stouts and and stuff like that. Very popular in Italy as craft beer. And I wonder if this is a response by Ischnusa stroke Heineken um, to hit back a little bit and produce something a little bit different uh, for themselves. I can't fault them. I can't fault them that they have. Um, on, a, on a hot Italian day, I bet this goes down beautifully well. It's going down well enough on this cold February day, never mind in its native country with, with, with beautiful sunshine and maybe a barbecue roaring. So I'm going to rate it. Looks good, smells good, tastes good. I really like that. I really like that. Um, being a fan of East Noosa for a while now, um, good, good quality beer. Um, the unfiltered version is just better in every direction. It's more of a malt quality coming through, much more of a hoppy quality coming through as well. I like that enough to give it, yeah, a an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!